Hey guys, welcome to my video channel. I'm Grey Chow. Today, I'm going to share with you how to sharpen your photo for social media and website so that your photos look great on Facebook or Instagram. Also, you need to know that what's the right image size to upload to Facebook or Instagram. If not, Facebook and Instagram may downsize your photo and causing your photo losing sharpness and look soft. So we want to avoid that. For Facebook, the higher resolution size is 2048 pixel times 2048 pixel. So we are going to upload the maximum image size that Facebook allowed so that we can have the best image quality on Facebook. Now, let's say we want to upload this photo to Facebook. So we will have to resize it first. I don't want to do the resizing and sharpening directly on this PSD file here because this is my master file. And I want to keep it as it is so that I can use it to do any sharpening for web or printing at any size in the future. Also in case I may need to add any other adjustments to the photo too. So I'm going to create another layer by merging all the adjustments that I made to this image so far. So the magic spell to do that is Control Alternate Shift plus E or Command Option Shift plus E on Mac. So merge the layer. Now make sure this new layer is selected. Go to Layer, Duplicate Layer, and choose the document to New. And now key in the name for the new document file. So I'm going to name it as Web Sharpening. And click OK. Now we have this photo duplicated to the new document file, which is the step one. The next step I'm going to do is to resize the image. Remember that I want to upload the photo at 2048 pixel. But instead of resizing to 2048 pixel, I'm going to resize the photo to the intended size multiplied by 1.67. 2048 pixel multiplied by 1.67 is 3420 pixel. So I'm going to resize to 3420 pixel. Then I will do the sharpening. After that, only I resize back the image to the size that I want to upload to Facebook, which is 2048 pixel. That's the algorithm to sharpen your photo for web, which is known as web sharpening technique. I'm not so sure what's the technical reason behind that, but the overall idea is that by resize your photo to the final image size multiplied by 1.67 and do the sharpening will give you the best sharpening result. Well, the most important thing is that this technique works. So resize the photo to 3420. Go to image, image size, and change the width to 3420. Also make sure that you select by cubic smoother option here and click OK. Let's zoom in a bit. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer. Pressing Ctrl J or Command J on Mac and rename the new layer as Web Sharpening-1. To apply the sharpening, just go to Filter, Sharpen, Sharpen. Now the photo has been sharpened, but let's add one more level of sharpening here. So duplicate the new layer, Ctrl J or Command J, and rename it as Web Sharpening-2. Then go to Filter, Sharpen, Sharpen again to sharpen the photo. Let's see the before and after. Before, after. You can see that the sharpness of the image has been greatly increased. Most of the time, two times sharpening is good enough. But if you want, you can further sharpen the image again by repeating the same steps. So duplicate the layer, Ctrl J or Command J, and rename the layer as Web Sharpening-3. And go to Filter, Sharpen, Sharpen, or you can just click here to repeat what you have done previously. Now let's resize the image to 2048, which is the image size that we want to upload to Facebook. So go to Image, Image Size, 2048 and click OK. Let's see the before and after. Before, after, before, after. So three level of sharpening. You can disable or enable the layers here to decide how much sharpening you want to apply to your photo. 
Also, you can change the opacity of the layer to reduce the amount of the sharpening. If you want to restrict the sharpening only to your subject and exclude the sky, you can just group all these layers together. I select all of them and press on Ctrl G or Command G and then add a layer mask to it. Then choose the brush tool. Make sure that the foreground color is black color, opacity at 100% and resize the brush size in paint on the sky to remove the sharpening on the sky. The final step is exporting this photo for Outlook. To export, I use Save for Web. So just go to File, Export, Save for Web. So make sure that you use JPEG and for the quality, I always go for the highest quality. And also make sure that this convert to sRGB is checked. For the rest of the options, I leave them as default. After that, you just need to click Save and save the image. So that's how you sharpen the photo for Facebook. Next, we are going to use the same photo to upload to Instagram. Basically, the steps are the same. The only difference is that Instagram accepts smaller image size. For Instagram, there are three recommended image sizes and they are 1080 times 1080, 1080 times 608, and 1080 times 1350. You may want to crop your photo first to stick to any of these recommended sizes. Back to this photo here, let's crop the photo to a square size. So click on the crop tool, and make sure that you choose the square option here, and then click enter to apply the crop. Now again, we are going to repeat all the steps, but instead of doing it manually, I've recorded all the steps into a Photoshop action. So I just need to go to Window, Action, and click on Work Sharpening-1080 and play. The action will automatically repeat all the steps that I've done before. Here's the final image that's already being sharpened. So let's zoom in. Before, after, before, after. If you wish to get the web sharpening action that I created, you can download it via the link in the below description of this review. Feel free to give it a try. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to my video channel. So, see you next time.